making her way to the ring, representing destroyers of the matter, and one half of the ring weapons. From China, standing 5 foot 10, weighing 160 pounds, we are on cracker, Jian Li Wen. And her opponent, representing then the rest of the Alliance of Sisterhood. She's the leader. Standing 5 foot 8, weighing 160 pounds, Pija Della Michiaka, Soberana Ragones. Referee for this match, AJ. Fight! All right, and uh, here we go, kicking things off for week two of this junior heavyweight tournament. We're gonna get the other bracket done, I guess B bracket. Beijing Qingren was the one that won the, uh, the first bracket. He won a bracket. And I'm wondering if history's gonna repeat itself from 2019 because when it came to, I mean, so far when it comes to major tournaments, he's coming in second. And I'm pretty sure of the way, you know, I mean, come on now, the stories of anatomy, they're most likely wanting to see their own go against each other to headline this whole thing and one of them go on to hopefully <laughs> defeat Eternal and become the CR Fire Pro Junior Heavyweight Champion. I'm pretty sure that's what they're hoping on. Honestly, the way I, I honestly see it after seeing these girls and these guys in action going on the current status, Beijing Chingdan has the best chances of doing it. He's not a tag team wrestler, he's singles. And you see that Eternal is not only a tag team, but singles like she is the perfect blend. So yeah, we'd rather just see. Let's see if he can defeat whoever wins this tournament. And then I, I wish I could say that one side had better athletes, but no. <laughs> it popped in the top of the head with that punch. Somebody's gonna win, somebody's gonna lose. We got 45 minute time limit, everybody. 45 minutes, we're gonna have a winner. And back and forth they go. Oh, the little punches one out. Give up. AJ sitting there headlining this tournament as referee. She has the official final say in every single one of these matches. This is, this is difficult. I, I woke up not that long ago. <laughs> still trying, to, still trying to, 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 to wake up here. One. So Brana Dragones is... Is, Five minutes gone. I don't know. She, she's still maintaining her aggressiveness. Oh, there we go. Big clothesline. Oh, Jian Lei Wen gets right up. Well, Lee Wen, she gets right up. She's working those arms. That's what she do. And, you know, you didn't, you know, some people might not miss arm day, but she's not going to miss your arm. She's going to nail it every time until you can't take no more. This is our first of 14 matches today. Give up. Got a double arm lock on. Everything she does is going to try to result on, on hurting on that arm a bit, or at least putting you in position to do so. You're going to up a cut rush. She dies that shoulder block. Just got on up out the way. Oh, she got bowled over. Chris O'Brien is like, I'm, I'm going to get you one way or the other. Mind the side of the open. Nope, open fist. Okay. The referee has a better vantage point. I'm hoping that AJ does a lot better than Van Perry did. I don't know. what He was, he was just off his game last week. I don't understand. Breaking that face. Kind of body slam. Going at it with the strikes once more. Lee Wan is, is, I mean, just only a, 
a week and, and a bit, you know, well, probably two weeks removed from uh, being unseated as Master of Four champion. I don't know, maybe Fate has it, and you know, you lose the. Oh, good grief! Never mind! Jump and sheer One, drop DDT! I was gonna say, maybe Fate has it that, you know, you lose one jump and gain another. But, well, she's signaling that she's gonna be champion. So, Ronnie put that major DDT on. I'm sure, I am sure Lee Wan is definitely reeling from that. It's hard to say who's staying away from who at that moment. The shoulder arm thrust. Ten minutes gone. She's working this some more. That that move right there is, is I mean, I'll be honest with you, in a straight up real fight done properly, that move will separate your shoulder or dislocate your wrist. That's what it's designed for. Somebody wants to get cute in the ring, somebody can injure them easily. When they jump it on, breaking. She's still, she's still searching. Now, yeah, she works the arms. She works the head here and there. John Le Wynn has, Le Wynn has no problem putting on a power move here and there. So, you know, you always got to watch out. One, two. Yes, yeah, she'll, she'll take the win any way she can. You're a wrestler, that's what you're going for. We'll be introducing a new athlete tonight to you, everybody. She'll be wrestling next against making her debut against D-Block. We'll see how well she does. I'll be honest with you. There are a lot of wrestlers that you can have a debut against. D-Block is the last one you want. And she holds on. Still working that arm. If you're somebody that works a body part like that, you're in it for the long haul. That's just something. That's just how that is. You are in it for the long haul. That shows you got to do it. Oh, oh, she might, be, she might have it. No. Oh, taking advantage. She knows she's fatigued. Two. Big time clothesline, stomp that arm. One, little stomp for measure. Oh, got a two count. Got a two count. She's searching off those ropes. Hooking yeah. clothesline. She says she's going for it. Strangle her gamma. That step over her arm, boy. Oh, man. That, you know, she, she, she went for that right there. I'm going to upset over that. <laughs> she put the Get boots up. to it. Fujiwara. Give up. Fujiwara. Give up. Snap suplex by Soberano. Stops to the corner and then pulls her out. She's not able to catch a million ring. She go? Okay, she's going for the pin after the elbow to the back. No. We don't have it just yet. Not just yet. Ooh, breast spinning back kick. Go for the pin boy. Two. No. I thought you had enough snap on that kick, but you didn't. Nice back breaker. Stomp to the back of the head. Stomp to the back. Got that head again. Ooh. Punch it right on top of the head. Side buster. Set her up for something. Nope, go for the pin. One, she doesn't want to have it in. No, no, she don't. Not right now. Not right now. She's off the ropes. Close on and the microphone is starting to work better. She's going to turn this down a bit. She turned this down. 
I saw that shooting to the red. Sorry about that, people. Sorry about that. I'm always trying to monitor my microphone and what I'm seeing is happening in this room. She's got her up. Another, another jumping short drop. DDT. Great. Brain Buster. DDT. I just got that hit her tight. Yeah. Oh, she got shoulder Buster. She says, no, nah, that's it. That's it. Same old whole gamma. Give up. She's working it. She's Give wrenching up. that arm. So far, we survive and push her off. Those arms are coming down. Yeah. Another yeah. one. She's like, yeah. how many of these can you take? Give up. How many can you take? That's Give always up. a great question. Because that's what submission is. How much? Oh, years. she is exhausted. Oh, that's the worst thing you can do right now against Soberana. Man, had him drop. Maybe not the mom. She kind of, oh, she nailed her. She caught her right there up under the chin. She might be out. No, she just kicks out. Just kicks out with head knocking punches. Just no good, those hand guards. Double knee press to the back. Another double knee press to the back. Nothing up on her. Oh, and she's like, you can do it how you want. I just got to make you submit once. She's going right back to it. The third one of the match. It's been a long match. She's going to have to probably bust out that air raid net breaker. She is exhausted. She's also beat up. Real beat up. She's got her up again for that DDT. That brain buster. She's, she's cooking her one, one, two, two three. three. And she's got it. And you're a winner of this match in the fancy turn in the tournament. It's still around the black of this. That was good. That was good. That was a good match. All right. Let's let's roll. Making her way to the ring. Represents a new era rising from South Africa. Standing six foot three, weighing 218 pounds. Introducing the ace goddess, Armandi Kasawati. Oh, and her opponent, representing jail without order and one half of JWO Black. Stand 5 for 10 weight, 198 pounds. D Black. The referee for this match, AJ. Fight. All right, so this is the debut of Amanda Casuoti. She's going against D Block in this tournament. Second match of our seven opening matches. Oh, just, poke, just poking her in the eye already. Elbow butt. He's trying to keep the distance from toe kicks. Slap right across the head. Oh, he beat her at the toe kick. Ooh, throw it up a touch. Okay, they fighting. They fighting. Toe kick. Forearm knocked down. Ooh. Flying man. Off those ropes. Ooh, nice net breaker drop. Shades of Randy Savage. You don't see that too often. She's up, elbow. Oh, she, she's trying to tear that head up. She's trying to tear that head up. Mountain strikes. He's like, I'm gonna show you some strike. They, okay, they, they're equally fighting. Oh, I don't know. These, these two are gonna beat each other too much. I don't think they're. I don't think the opponent's gonna have uh, whoever wins. I don't think the opponent's gonna have too much of a problem uh, uh, capitalizing and winning. Give up. There is a level of beating where you can't really recover from in time for your next match, even if your match was first. Then again, if you want to win, you have to literally put your body on the line. You got to just say, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take all these blows and hope that, you know, you fall out before I do. Give up. 
the mounted elbow strikes. Ooh, knee drop to the groin. One. Oh man, that dominant pin. Show me how you how you must feel. Ooh, One. come on now. Uh, you saw that ref, but uh, I mean, it ain't like you're gonna just low blow and then hold it there for a long time. I mean, you know, this is like the '80s. DDT. Oh, just shotguns him outside the ring. One, two. Trying to get that airbag. He's got a weapon. Oh, there's his tag partner. Oh, she just made him drop his tag partner. Ooh. Five minutes gone. He was expecting a hammer throw, and she just came off the ropes. One. Jump with fist drop. Mounted elbow strikes. Oh, these two are being vicious. Oh, net breaker drop. The swinging net breaker drop in the way. Hammer throw. He's in the corner. Oh, oh, elbow to the back. Oh, my goodness. He's doubling up on that elbow. Oh. He knows with that forearm shiver. Close line. B block. Hey, I mean, he's. He's the uh, more of uh, not gonna, he's the more diplomatic person of JWO. His partner is uh, well, B Block's more of a hothead. He, he's not gonna listen to anybody. As you can see, uh, he's oh, going for school boy. Two. Two. Uh, how, uh, B, how how he went down with the war and B Block won't back it down that much. You know, B Block was keeping him as safe as one could. So that lets you know, B Block. It's a way of basically saying D Block does have a lot of intelligence and you need to watch out because he's calculating. Because uh, D Block is also one of the orchestrators of the rebellion that I found out against the war. Just couldn't, he couldn't take no more either. One, oh, he says he, two, he, he got him. Nope. I'm like, keep it off me, man. These two are severely standing up to each other. Spinning back up. Oh, that ground attack is good. Spinning back elbow, no, just elbow butt. Oh, mounted elbow strike. Give up. Give up. Oh, go for the mounted strikes himself. Give up. A Manzi Casarotti is definitely oh, showing that she, she know like, look, if I lose, you're gonna know I was here. That's what she's saying. Drop to the top. One, two, yes! Diving capture ace pressure. That that could be it right there. One, One two. Ten minutes gone. Man, not a good kick out. Okay, oh, he duped her up. He said, I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of this shit. He duped her up. One, One two. Man, how he dropped. With the neck breaker drop. Oh, trick me. Are we going for yeah, Not off the trick me. Come on, man. Come on, man. Not off that. The <laughs> D-Boss like, I'm trying to get her off you. I just go to jump off the rope and, 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 and broke my neck. I jump off the top rope and broke my neck. I got, I got the bite. Yeah. Oh, German suplex. Yeah. German suplex. Over. Over what? Oh, uh, spinning when you're sleeping. Give up. She's tired. Making him around like that. She better be tired. I go to the back. Oh, is that her butt? Oh, he biting me. Come on, dude. Two, three. Man, you ain't beat me one in a long time. Oh, she's bleeding. Her butt is open. Her butt is open. What in the world? Swing your neck breaker. Oh man, trick me, trick me. Come on, got a hit. Yeah, she had elbow, got to work. Oh man, she, she's so bleeding. She is so bleeding, y'all. Take down with that split. Nope. Rolls him over. Elbow to the back of the hook. Elbow to the back of the hook. 
probably trying to bust him open to see how see how bleeding and stuff. Man, that and drop. Go behind elbow butt. Oh, trick me. These two are beating the hell out of One, each other. Two. Three. three. And he got it. And you're winning up the match and the best of the gentleman is D. Wow. Damn, that was a fight. That was, that was a serious fight. All right. She lost her debut, but she, she, she showed up, though. All right, let's roll. Making her way to the ring. Representing Jet the Rest of the Lions. And one half of KT Layer. Better box for four weighing 167 pounds. BT Layer. And her opponent, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance Sisterhood, and one half of Dean Ivier Gotay, standing six foot six away, 200 pounds, the brain maker, Turn Quill. <laughs> Referee for this match, AJ. Fight! All right, your third match. It sucks because Wilty lost, but that's D Brock. I mean, you know, there's so many she could have debuted against, but it, it rolled D Brock, and that's what you got to do. And she fought. She showed she here. That's good. That's good. And these two right here are going to try to follow it up well, huh? And they fight in the corner. She come out swinging. Behind the body slam, plants her right down. Ooh, punch right in the face. Fire Miss Carey. Chop. You see, a, a, a quick chop always counters a taser chop. Or anything that's going to take a little bit longer than that. So, taser chop, you got to set it up a little bit. Chop, just throw your hand out there. Smack him right across the chest. Ooh, poke to the eye. Stomp to his guts. Double to the back, stomp to the back of the head. I don't know too much, honestly, about Turkwood. Um, other than she's Miss LaRue's tag team partner. Uh, I know that she's, I guess, one of the um, uh, powerhouses. Of the, oh, she got a tight. That's tight. Two, Did she kick out, though? Three. No, she got it. And you're winner of the match, B.T. Lawyer. Oh, man, she stole that one. I won't even prepare it. I won't even, man, she caught me sleeping. Oh, man, she caught her. That, that, that's, a, that's a tough break for, for Turquil, but it, it, damn, it is what it is. I was hoping to see a great contest. What'd you do, B.T.? You, did you cheat? That was, that was, that was either tight well, you cheated. All right, I'm gonna have to talk to her after the show. I ain't gonna say nothing right now. All right, let's roll. Making her way to the ring, representing Pyro, leader, and one half of Warriors of Day. Standing five foot seven, weighing 216 pounds, the Matriarch. Her Representing one half of Devolution Storm. Setting five foot nine, weighing 224 pounds. Emerald Storm. <laughs> Referee for this match, AJ. Fight! Okay, this match isn't going to be short. Because I don't know what BT did, but she did something. I know she did something. That high angle body slam. Kick to the small of the back. All the ropes there.
Oh, no, checking my cards here. Just checking my cards. Oh, okay. I got some things wrong. All right. Sitting here trying to. I'm, I, while I'm doing this, I'm also. You look, I don't. I don't. There ain't much production around here. All right. So I got it. I'm setting up the next. Uh, yeah, next leg of the tournament. While we're working. Trying to trying to get stuff done, man. Oh my goodness. Kick to the small of the back pretty much right. Left it off last time. I ain't gonna fight stand. Oh, to the outside. She's gonna take a rest. Yeah. One. Taking a rest. Make sure I was getting right back in. These two, these two never fail. I mean, it's like they just come to the ring and it's like, listen. We got to put a hurting on each other because that's just how we roll. And they're like, yep. And they both agree to just put a hurting on each other because that's how they roll. You heard me, didn't you? You heard? Is you listening? They like to put a hurting on each other. And to the outside, she goes again. Still to the outside. Oh, she going One, after me. She two, going after Three. Manhattan Drive. Right. Look, get yourself out there, five, girl. Six, I'm talking to both of them, seven, actually. Eight, <laughs> Oh, make sure I got to run away. You can beat him on the outside if you want to risk it. Oh, man, drop a double combination off that rope. Go behind. Push whip. Manhattan drop. She got a snap suplex. Five minutes gone. Nice combo right there. Reverses it. Vertical suplex. Hey, you trying to suplex a suplex a rolling up and she missed. I mean she big time but she turned around, she's like, where did she go? And she's like I'm right next to you. Okay. Reverse bust the crab. Give up. I'ma tell you, y'all ain't getting Give paid about a minute now. You know. Nice exploder. Body slam, Joshi style. Oh, nice flat back drop kick to the face. Oh, she got her. Standing head turner. Got her up. Elevated power bomb. Fold. Fold. Two. Two. Man, she pulled that one out. Oh. Tiger bomb. One. one. Two. Man. What in the hell? Elevated sit out, Dragon One, Bomb. Two. two. What the? F Another Tiger Bomb. Two. What in the world? Man, Queen's Mother or two. Queen Dangerous Queen Bomb. My bad, Dangerous Queen Bomb. Too many bombs in my head. Mother Light Suplex Home. Two. two. Fisherman driver. One, two, two. Good. Three. Half half suplex home. One, One. Two. two. This girl's are putting on the devastating planet. Another dangerous queen bomb pin. Two. two. Damn. Manhattan drop. She's feeling it. Go behind. Standing switch. Standing switch. Release German suplex. We know the Matrix has been winning mostly with the Dragon suplex hold. Into the corner. Got her up reverse style. She climbs. She's got an avalanche. What's up? Avalanche! Baldy! Power bomb! Two! Good three! Pyramid driver! One! Two! Three! And she's got it! Damn! <laughs> uh, your winner of the match is the Matriarch! What the hell? Whatever y'all ate this morning, I want some of that. Who cooked it? Damn! My career would have went a whole lot better if I had them, them kind of Wheaties. Damn! I missed out on some cereal. Let's roll! Let's <laughs> roll!
making her way to the ring, representing destroyers of anatomy. From China, standing 5'10", weighing 149 pounds, fixated exploit, Lillian Leon. And her opponent, representing natural born. From the Republic of Bulgaria, standing 5'10", weighing 213 pounds, natural born. Far East The referee for this match, AJ. Fight! And uh, here they go, locking it up. Oh my goodness. Amelia Leon is uh, definitely, um, she's a leg worker. She's got a few other, uh, I got some power moves here and there, I guess. I've only seen her maybe a couple of times. We know Sarisa is basically just straight up power. Suplexing power. One. So this puts it more in natural born's uh, corner right about now, the, the way this match might turn out. And that's just going on what I know of them. Okay, she's keeping up to the outside. One. But man, that last match was epic. Damn. Those two never failed to deliver. I don't know what it is. <laughs> they don't they don't they don't hold back. They came out saying, you know how this gonna go. Let's get it done. They got it done. Oh these Germans from ground. Oh man, she just she just got on up with that. We saw Natural Boy Supreme on the road, and uh, and he won in a very epic fashion, as it seems that only Natural Boy Supreme can do. Give up. Still don't like that guy. He drop kick to the Patella. That's the second one that I've seen. Lillian is, is is definitely trying to pick up where. Maybe G Lee uh, left off trying to make sure she can get that win. Tearing that Patella up. I guess it's good that suplexing the power and fulcrum comes from the hips and not necessarily the knees. Now you need your knees to stand just to do a suplex anyway. But a lot of that power from the suplex, that's all in the hips. A lower vertical base, you know, not necessarily your arms, not not as you think. I mean, you know, a, a good core is a good suplex. Da! Go behind. Huh. Umari backdrop. Goes away from the corner. Now look, I'm going for Milian because time. she's sporting the official CFR probably she's supporting. she's supporting the shoes. Look at her. She is sporting them. She is supporting them. She doing all that with it. The... It ain't looking good though. It, it ain't looking good. Those are naughty backdrops. But but I'm, I'm I'm rooting for her though. Besides besides, if anything, Natural Born said he's has been on the losing streak. So I mean, oh good grief. So this kind of works in her in her favor in, in, in a sense. Oh she's oh she's starting to counter everything. Small package. One, two. They're working that shoulder. Natural born, they. I mean, if you're gonna have a primary thing, like if you're just a suplexer, you know they're gonna make sure you you work that arm and leg at least a little bit. You never know when you might have to tag up with somebody. Backdrop of a stripper. Juju. Give up. Natural born are very well rounded. That's one thing about natural born. You, you got to be well rounded. Oh. Ah. She, oh, she got her. She got her that time. Give up. Man, Sarita bolted. She was like, gotcha. She was like, nope. She ran back. Gotcha. Give up. Ah. She missed that tackle. Lillian is working. Uh oh, 
that drop. I mean, these two catches are coming. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Carolyn, look. Man, she, oh, damn, that was a strong two kick. I mean, that was, that was a straight up body kick. She's got a heel hook in. That was tight, too. Give up. She got kicked in her chest or her, or her elbow. Ooh, one of them. Nah, uh, you had to kick him half her own damn leg. I'm probably in the shoulder. Reverse half crab. Give up. Trying to impress her leader. And, oh, Umari's back drop. And definitely trying to pick up well, John Lee Wen when she, she fell. Ooh, knee strike to the head. Heavy. You see, this got a hurt lock. Hurt lock has no problem doing that. Push whoop. She comes off. Drop toe hold. Picks her up. Push whip again. Drop toe hold. She's trying to keep her off the off the uh, kilter here. And she's falling for something. Elevated Texas Clover hold. Oh no, she got out of that. Kill Wick. Small package. Trying to stick something up on her. In the leg trip. Emilian is basically tired. She, 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 she just can't follow up. Iris Wood. Front suplex. Front flex. Good grief. Oh, she's up. She's up. Oh, that worked for her. That worked for her. She stuck around but got nothing. Jim is too flex, release from ground. And Sarisa, she needs a win. Tyrant's not in this. Oh, that love is hurt. That love is hurt. And she slips out. Not to do it that time. Oh, run the knee bar. Great. She was clutching at that leg. Sarisa's not. Oh, Japanese love girl crutch. One, One two. two. On the hammer throw, that was a hammer throw into the corner. Super drag this screen. Mount position. Nope. No throw. Juju Batamo. Juju. And Salisa has tapped others out before. She has tapped them out. Arm ringer. Shoulder thrust. Oh! She nailed it. Standing switch. Elbow butt. Rolling knee bar, that catch and rolling knee bar. <laughs> yeah, being in the ropes makes her hard. Mount position. Gigi Katana, but she's in the ropes. Great. The only time being in the ropes will not matter is if they're, if they're tapping out. As soon as they're in it, that's the only time the ropes won't matter. Rolling knee bar away from the ropes, and you know that leg is hurt. And now the back drop. The girls are taking it up a notch. Drag your screw. Just trying that knee bar. Stiff back drop. And she's cheering for everything. She just cheering. Uh oh, drag your screw leg whip. Uh oh, she calls for something. She pulls away from the ropes. Elevated. Texas cover hole. She's in the ropes. Heel hook. Give up. Is she on the ropes? I thought she was in the ropes. Never got a better to do than I do. The body back drop. She just dumping her all on her neck. Just dumping her all on it. Cameron looks slow. 
another one. Oh, she's up. She's up. Take down. She got her up. Go behind. Shin breaker. She's going for the elevated take the cover hold again. And she got it. She got it. Right. Okay, that, that was strange. I didn't run them. Okay. It, it, it is what it is. I, I can't do anything about it. She's got the official say. Go behind. German suplex. Rolling knee bar counter. Right. Mila She's on fumes. She's on defense. Go behind. Shin break. All right. She, 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 I guess she won't for another Teddy Bubba hole. Wait, what was this? Gorilla Clutch! Gorilla Clutch! And she surrenders! And yo, winner of the match, Miriam Leo! Oh, crap. Alright, she pulled that up out of there. Alright. Uh, congratulations. Still got, uh, it seemed your, uh, last year's faction rival. We got y'all, them in action. Kind of some ish. Faction Sisterhood going here. Uh, you'll understand. Let's roll. Making her way to the ring. Representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance Sisterhood. And one half of the Bludgeoneers. Standing 5'4", weighing 132 pounds. Lady Hammerfist. He be Bobby. Her opponent representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance and one half of KT Player, standing five foot seven, weighing 180 pounds. Comments. <laughs> Referee for this match, AJ. All right, that's what I'm saying, a little sisterhood thing because they're girls. One is Deadly Wrestling Alliance Sisterhood and one is part of the original Deadly Wrestling Alliance and that would be common. So we got, we got an original versus well, a sisterhood. And no, OG doesn't, I don't know why they changed it. OG never meant original. It never did. OG was O and G, original Come gangster. Uh, original gangster. I don't, I don't know why they, why the hell they changed. I'm, I'm gonna go with the original. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm OG. You know, and OG and, and, uh, and the only gangsters I know in this would have to be sisterhood. I'm going to have to go with that. Sister, they, they thugs. They gangsters. Oh, she tattooed her. The she flexes to the One, outside. She go. Two. One, two, so the chair. three, four. Close the gap. Could have got disqualified with a short match. That would have been good for me. Brain buster slam. Oh, come on! Uh, tore that head up. Oh, damn! Damn! Oh my God! All right, Lady Hammerfist is living up to her monitor. Good grief! Oh, the thunders! Give up! Come on, comic, fight back! You're lawfully required to now. Oh my goodness! Yeah, you got you have to you have to hold her. We don't get a chance to get him out of an action, and, and maybe we should have kept her out of action. Just keep her a manager role or something. Give oh, up! Bro. Give up! Give up! Mounted elbow strike. She saw this out of a Monte Cosworthy. Five minutes gone. She couldn't get the win with it. Two. 
just trying to take more energy out of Comet. That's what it looked like right there. Side rich and headlock. Man, she keeps her distance. She pops it. The ability to suplex. You got this, this the powerful striking ability, but you got straight up. Yeah! Oh, love the power. Oh, my goodness. A martial combination. Let's put it down in the center ring. Behind the hip toss. Reverse Buster Crab. Give up. Get it tomorrow. She's sporting the official shoes. She's sporting them. Elevated DDT. One, two. two. Man, it's Didi Martin. Yeah. Oh, rolling shoulder hole. Great. Steven Gordon should be happy with you. That's for sure. She, yeah, she realized she got to get out that corner. That's, yeah. that's smart right there. Mountain position. Oh, she slips out. She's in, she slips out. Kinda had to get up out of that. Man, nice standing power slam, hook that leg. Man, she, Gibby Marley used that, oh, she got duped up. She got duped up, but Gibby Marley used everything in that count right before One, kicking out. Two. two. The raw power of comedy is catching up, equaling out this fight. She's straight up stunned. Give Look, up. rabbit punch to the back of the head. Give up. If boxing, that'd be illegal. Spinning back over, mounted Give strikes. Up. Give up. The lady Hammerfist is proving herself to be in the corner again. Good grief. Got her again. Yeah! Mountain position. Yeah. Sleep a choke. Sleep a choke. She done better come. Great. Kind of went to the furthest rope, but yeah, she got there. Oh, she slapped the brakes off of her. Oh, now she returning the, the, the wagon punches. To the top she go. Got a big massive body press. Too tight to follow up though. Oh, kind of went for something. She just. Yeah! Beat her right to the punch, and that choke again. Give up. Give up. And Gibby Martin is, 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 is putting on the clinic, from what I can see. Punch through Brain Buster. One, two, up is in position. No, not right now. She got her up again. Brain Buster slam. Come on. Dragon Give sleeper. Up. Got the inside step on it. Point two, brain buster. Pull away from the ropes. One, two. Nothing up on it. Give you up. She got. She got knocked out. Look. I wouldn't say knocked up, but what's she going for? Yeah! Whoa, strong takedown, super choke. And she wins. And your winner of the match, KB Maru. Yeah! Hey, quit it, quit it. Don't make me come down there, goddammit. Don't make me come down there. Ugh. That, that, that was brutal. I, I, wow. All right. Oh, that was that was brutal. I, I, I feel a little bad. I'm going to buy comedy chocolate cake or something later. I don't know. I feel bad. Well, we got everybody's hero in action. We got Plush. And she's taking on the member of DWAS. Let's roll. Making her way to the ring. Representing Father Fury. And one half of Stalking Fury. In the 5'4 weight. 134 pounds. This is... Flash! And making her way to the ring, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance Sisterhood, and one half of Dinar Del Bote. From France, 
standing six foot four, weighing 191 pounds, the graceful butterfly. He may show that Referee for this match, AJ. I'm all befuddled, I'm all messed up. All right, here we go. So this, this match is starting a little strange, but uh, I'm gonna run with it, y'all. That cravat by Vimesho Leroux. And I just realized her name is spelled wrong. Nice drop salt right there by Plush. And, I, and you know what? I got to say, it's, it's strange that the champion is giving so many, well, positive vibes towards Plush. One. That's just strange that, that it, that's been happening. Now, I cannot recall the crush if he made sure to address it before there's been so many matches. Um, and I've already vaulted the great majority of 2019. But I know he made sure that ooh, she's going to be a tough one for Plush. If Plush. If Plush comes out with her power game instead of the high flying, then I don't think he made sure that ooh, could to stand a chance. It's all about what Plush wants to do. Plush is also very well-rounded. Behind the body slam. One, two, three. One, oh. two, three. That's, that's once in the head already, okay. Ooh, well, we got to chop, and uh, Gibby Marley's already in it, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna want some of this. Ooh, got that head. DDT. Gonna we'll start to crank it up. Arm drag to the top. Kind of frog splash. One, One two, two. Five minutes gone. Back and forth they go with the punches and the kicks. And the punches went out. Boot scrapes. That fist drop. Falling fist drop. Ooh, little kick. She found it, but she, you know, it took her two times, but she got it. Boot scrapes. One. I'm going for that pin early. Look, she's to the top. Man, nice Scorpio Two. splash. Double to the back of the net. Stop to the back of the net. Go by a victory roll. One. Two. Two. And Vina show being far more calculating than Flush. I don't know if it's going to help her or not the long run. Cavat, she up. definitely works that neck though. Give up. She, she, she focuses on that neck, that's for sure. Off the ropes, real quick. Same set flip. Stomp to the back of the neck. She's got her up. I don't know exactly. The game plan of Dimensho Leroux, I know that she's going to be looking for that butterfly lock. I know that. Well, I might as well call it the butterfly stretch because it's not really a lock in, in, in here. One, two, three, four. So, yeah, we psyched up for us. We're going to just walk back. One. I was like, she's about to really jump. And she's like, no. Nah.
Nice throw in Gigi Takame. Give up. I'm more or less studying this match, everybody. This is one. This two. is new right here. I'm more I, I start studying matches more than when they're new to me anyway. Uh oh, to the top. And the cross flash, she nailed it. Get her stretch. One. One. Two. two. And now one thing to use a move is to use it strategically. Yeah. Butterfly lock. Well, butterfly Wait. stretch. As you can see, she got the arm stretched out. She got the head crooked. It's a choke. That's what I should call it, the butterfly choke. Oh, crap. Oh, she floats over. And she's got it again, so of the ring. Give up. The butterfly lock is also an arm submission hold as well as a choke. Drop down. Oh, she just stood there. They both they're, they're both weakened. Oh, she got up first one. Oh, she's taking advantage. Taking advantage. How most. The button the rope three. One. Whoa, close two, running. Three. Four, five. Six. Man, plus like seven, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna take your nuts Oh, right into the nine, pitch. Nine, ten, eleven. She got another chair. One. Tiger driver. Uh oh. What you going? Shot gun drop kick. Breaks the face. A hammer throw. She's got her reverse style. What's she going for? Ooh. Elbow. Ooh. Yeah. Punch to the back of the head. Rabbit punch. And that, that's yeah. a mission hold? A uh, submission strikes? I ain't know that. Mission up, you drive a two out of nowhere. One, two. And she got her. She snatched her up. The real winner of the match is Rush. Man, she snatched her up. That was that was good though. Vima show kind of had me. I was like, man, she might she might win this, but uh, she, you know, yeah, plus went the power game. She came out on top. All right. Well, let's roll. We got to get back up to the top and, and get get this tournament underway. Let's roll. Making her way to the ring, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance. And what half of KT Raider? Turning five foot four, weighing one hundred sixty seven pounds. D T Lawyer. Making her way to the ring, representing Hierarchy, leader, and one half of Warriors of the Day, standing five foot seven, weighing two hundred sixteen pounds, the Patriarch. The referee for this match, AJ. Fight. And here we go. Now, I don't know how DT Land's going to handle this because the matriarch, she went through a battle and it was epic. I don't know the damage that matriarch has, has, has taken because it was, it was a lot against Emerald Storm. DT Land barely had to go through anything. DT Land pretty much had an easy, kind of easy, sneaky little win there. So... This match right here, I'm curious. I'm, I'm wondering if she's going to try to roll up Matriarch just as fast. Ooh, double foot stomp. Now, these two usually when they lock up, they, they start fighting. But I don't know. I, I just don't know. That Joshi style body slam or Luchadora style. Either way, it's, you know, they, they say it's female, but it's not like that here in, 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 the, in the United States of America. You know, BT, she's sporting the official CR Fire Pro shoes. 
and she's sporting them. One, two, three. AJ with the count, DT with the chair. Ooh, toe kick. And then a well-placed toe kick will stop any chair. Diving gear two drop. Made sure half of her head was on that chair. Ooh, snap two flex right in the corner. Ooh, stop to the ground. Made sure I can't hold it back, that's for sure. Uh-oh. Great. Had that ground abdominal stretch. Suplex and to the outside. One. Make two, sure I get the rest. Three. She is not getting the chair. All right. Keep it fair. Oh, show taste strike. That palm thrust. Stomp to the groin. Double foot stomp. You're picking up a cut. Middle kick. They're going back and forth. Driving VT back. And VT was with those body kicks. But they both had, oh, make sure I got up first. You see, honestly, as bad as the matriarch was, it gives her an actual advantage because she's already, oh, chaos theory suplex. One, One two. two. So I'm about to say, it gives her an advantage because she's already, you know, going through the stuff. Power bomb, oh, no. One, two. Counter that. Is Counter that to a pin of her own. And oh, now she's got an elevated power bomb folding. Great. Oh, this, 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 she must have reached out and got the ropes. Irish Whip. One of the spawn buster. <laughs> Stop it to the goat. Buffalo sleeping. Give up. Buffalo. Give up. Down the stretch hold. Two. Man, she's trying to get Two. her. She is trying. Oh, Mr. Sote. Trying again. Mr. Clothesline. They just queen bounce pin. One. One. Two. Two. Oh, 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 no, don't let us know, AJ. You got to get the count. I got it with the three in the way. Take down. Not the show team. It's true, bar mode. Show take strike. She's got her up. She's got her up. Elevated sit out dragon bomb. One, two. Oh, she might be too tired to kick out. Let's see. She does kick out. Another small package. AJ got her count today. Got AJ busy. AJ busy. Fisherman driver. One, two. Another one. Will it be DJ Rose versus DJ Rose? No, it will be Mother Fuzzy's daughter. Your winner of the match is the Patreon. And she is exhausted. She is exhausted. Congratulations, though. Congratulations. <laughs> Making her way to the ring, representing the stories of America. Bump China, standing 5'15 and 149 pounds. Big State and Export, Lillian Leon. Making her way to the ring, representing Deadly Wrestling Alliance Sisterhood. And one half of the Bludgeoneers, standing 5 foot 4 weighing 132 pounds, Lady Hammerfist, PB Maru. The referee for this match, AJ. Fight! This is your 10th of 14 matches. And we see, we've seen what Judy Martin can do. We've seen what Millie Young Young can do. So, I mean, hey, Judy Martin versus Millie Young Young. I'm, I'm 
actually excited about this. It's going to be hard to really commentate because I'm going, to, I'm going to be watching, you know, I'm going to be watching closely. We're going to get the match that was denied last year. We're going to finally see Sobrana Dragones versus the Matriarch, daughter versus mother. We'll see that one for your 12th match of the evening. See what's going on over here. Okay. I got a couple of the screens up, making sure, making sure nothing, nothing bad happened to to Cedra while she's coming home from work. Ooh! Kick to the inside of the leg right there. And give him my little lighting her up. Toe kick. Give up. Not a forearm strikes or elbows. Yeah, those are elbows. Those are too deep to be forearms. Dragon screen. Now we know that she's got the elevated uh, Texas Clover Hole, uh, Melee Leon. We also know that she's got the Gorilla Crutch. We also know that Given Mother got a lot of, of punches to throw. And over here, punch. Ooh, toe kick, drop kick. You know, yeah, Melee, but she'll definitely. Drop kick those patellas, man. She will, she will tear them kneecaps up. Forearm strikes. Forearms and elbows. It's like a, a mixture right there, like she was going back and forth. Those are elbows right there. She, good grief. She gonna work that head. Gibby Martin is a dome worker. Good grief. You can't get anything going. Try to kick gone. that knee. She resorts to it every time. Reverse half crab. Now, Gibby Martin did go through a subtle bull up there. Not too much was really done. So, I don't know. Ms. Leon, she definitely, Give Give she up. went through some, so a, a grand battle. There's a chance that the, uh, that if the, the favor may be in Gibby Martin's corner. Oh, going to the outside. Oh, One, she gives chase. Two, three, four, and threw her back five, in, six, and she came right back out seven, after her. Got a chance. Eight, and she's trying Nine, to make it. Next trip. Got her up. Boom, starting right about the face 14. and getting right in the ring. Look at that chair away. She's trying to smack her across the head, front and back. And she's like, oh, knuckle up on you. And she fell in that chair. She's going to roll and try to pin her on it. I'm going to tell you right now, it's hard kicking out on there on an extremely flat surface, especially when it's bowed up in the middle. Yeah. Oh, show toe! Boy, she, she puts some up into that. Your little voice, your little voice. She's all like, yeah. Like, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh! Man, that loop and loop. Oh, she ain't done with it. Rolling knee ball. Rolling knee ball counter. Last time Gibby Martin did those times, she, she ended it. I got concerned for a moment. Dragon still leg you up. Uh oh. No, Gibby's like, I am up. And the elbow strikes right to the, right to the side of the face. Another overhead punch, guard position. Now this strikes, you saw this dude jump on the, the new trainee. One of our small trainees. Boom, see, in trouble. Patella, drop kick. Bro, she tried that rolling knee bar. Gibby got the way, Ooh, drag him screw, love boy. She is her, she is her. Everybody touches purple hole. She was really hurt. Oh, she got out quick. 
Almost snaps it, takes it down. Down position. What is it over? Nana strikes to the back of the hill. And she surrenders. Of your winner of the match. Mia Mio. Good grief. I didn't I, I know how that was going to turn out. Man, Shote strikes for the win. Mia Mio survives. All right. We got Plush and the one with the bye. Yeah, I ain't want to mention nothing. Let's roll. Making her way to the ring. Representing Stocky And leader of Browser Fury. Right 25 foot four weighing 134 pounds. This is Plush. And hold on, no, I wasn't even going to try that again. <laughs> And making his way to the ring, representing New Era Rising, standing five foot ten, weighing two hundred pounds, and one half of Sons of the Sea, Honduras Orbital. The referee for this match, AJ. Fight. You know what, y'all? I'm gonna have to just be honest with you. I'm, 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 I'm going to just shoot straight. I'm excited about Plush. I love me some Plush, and I get tongue-tied often with her intros. I do. And today I decided to post one up on Discord because, man, screw it. And this one, I just let it blow through. I just, just forget it. Just fuck it. <laughs> just let it do it. Well, fuck it. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Fucking thing sucks. <laughs> That's the only thing that numbskull ever said that was funny. Alright, let's let's get me deep into this match right here. The crush has already had some battles. Pondolobro, none. He got the bye. And they've had a meeting before where Plush comes out on top winning. And he's, he's, he's trying to redeem that one. Ooh, she tried to uh, hood a Kanrana, but that got countered to a power bomb. And that's the thing about a hood of man. It's always been a power bomb. Frankenstein. I don't know. Maybe she was going for that. Rolling top of chop. And probably right across his, 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 his right there in the lip, lip cheek area. Whatever you want to call that area. That's a strip. Is there a name for it? That, that's, why, that's why we call it the grill. It's very general. <laughs> it ranges from the back of the jaw to the front of your lips. From the, the lower part of your nose to your to the, the bottom part of your chin. The grill. <laughs> Off the ropes. Sunset look. No kick there. Elbow to the back of the neck. Orbital comes in fresh. Slide and drop kick to the face. We got to see the newest member of their team. She lost, and yeah, he's the only one left. Sunset flip. Yep, those are the only two juniors uh, in New Era Rising. Ryan heel kick to the top. Nails that frog splash. Get a stretch. Pulls him away from the ropes like that. Two. Five minutes gone. Just, just, just kicks out. Back and forth, up with the punches, and she kicks. Back and forth. Stiff on clothesline, rolling heel kick. Picks him up. Like stereo, man, it's the ones and twos. Ooh. Hey, yeah, yeah, you feeling your oats, but that's plush. Don't be all underestimating. Two. Don't, don't ever underestimate Plush. Come on. Nice front flip kick. That's a real rolling real kick. Got that yep. The chicken wing face lock. That hurts the neck and the shoulder. One, That's used as two. torture in most play areas. That's a torture technique to get information out of people. And they pop that shoulder because it's immediate. 
top of that shoulder is imminent. Line is using the timing. Not only is this move used to dislocate an elbow, but it's also used to reset a shoulder. Over to the back of the neck. Front toe! Great. And palm thrust, that, the, the, the design of that. that mix it up with driver two. One. That might be it. She won't last match with it. Look at power thrust. You're using the whole uh, stiff area of the forearm, the whole bone. That means no give, all power. It's used to break noses, jaws, and other stuff. Up to the top. There she go. Nice Scorpio splash. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. Oh, figure four headlock. Give up. We got just a few more matches left, everybody. Leap frog. Rock kick. Is she going up top? Yes, she is. Hop to the top. Ten Hot angle. Flash flash. One. One. Two. Three. 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 She got it. Your winner of the match is Flash. Man, pl plush moving on. Plush moving on. We ain't got but a few matches right now. Oh, that we coming down to it. We coming down to it. Let's roll. Making her way to the ring. Representing the Deadly Resident Alliance Sisterhood. Leader. Standing five to eight, weighing 160 pounds. Pizza, De La Mediocre. Sober on a Ravonis. And her opponent, representing Hierarchy, leader, and one half of Warriors of the Day, set at 5'7", weighing 216 pounds, the Matriarch. The referee for this match, AJ. Fight! And this right here, folks, Oh, 180 spine buster. I'd rather see this when they have not been all beat up and whatnot. But eventually some things just got to be. They just got to be. And that's where it is right now. It is where it be. Tying a body slam by Matriarch. These two had choice words back at, at um, Unbridled Retribution. But nothing came to pass. Side buster by Soberana. Literally, Hija de la Matriarca is going against the Matriarch. <laughs> so, wow. I would rather this be at a big event, some great, you know, marqueed match, but we got it here in this tournament, folks. Love it while you got it. One, two, three. What you get the bat for? One. Well, that's your mom. And she don't care. That's the problem with Soberana. She gets extremely competitive. All, all that other stuff out the window. We're like, look, we're in the wrestling ring. If you don't want to get hit with a bat, you damn sure wouldn't have been a wrestler. Uh, that's, that's how she take it. That's pretty much how I would talk One. anyway. So that's... I'm pretty sure she picked that shit up from me, so I'm sorry. Uh, I know where I have messed up. Ooh, dangerous Queen Bomb. Two. Two. Just kicks out. Another one. One. Like, how many two. can you take before you stay down? More than two. That's for sure. Back and forth they're going. Back and forth they're going. She says, no way, mama. Rolling Larry goes for the pin. That Five, might be it right there. Two. No. Matriarch stalks her down. Snap suplex by Soberana. Give up. Give up. She is definitely you know, laying into it. Oh, oh! 
Oh, oh you brought the bat. You want to cheat? German suplex. Oh, from Five minutes. Two. two. Motron showing she can cheat too. I, I've never seen that out of her. What in the world? I'm starting to wonder if, if, if Soberama is just exposing what Matriarch has been holding back. DDT. To the top rope to get that diving back elbow. No. What? That was elbow drop. She got about her face and abdomen trying to pin her. No. That breaker. Oh, spinning back hook kick. In the ropes. She Wait. thought she had her away, but nope, she rolled her right into the ropes. Fisherman driver. I don't know how many of those we don't see tonight. Oh no, these two are fighting hard. Oh, two is outside the roof. Adjust the pants a little. Three, Try to get the air back in them. She's five. resting. Goes outside again. One, two, she knows the toe is taking on the matriarch. Four, and yet, you know, and while she's getting her air back, matriarch's got to recover. Oh, slap it right in the back of the hook. Oh! Man, that spinning back high kick. One, One two. two. I, I ain't gonna lie, my heart sank for a second. Uh-oh, both the kids are too slow, driver. Are they in the ropes? No! Two! Somebody's gonna have to lose. That's just the way this goes. It sucks, but somebody's gonna have to lose. Back of the head to the back. Good grief. DDT. Buffalo Flipper. She's trying to tame this, this warrior. European uppercut. Mounted strikes. Right to the head. To smack her, like get up off me. Another bumping TTG. One, two. Man, what a battle. Head lock and punches, stomp to the back. Double knee thrust to the back. Rolls and rolls for the pin. That was brutal combination. No. Okay, they got me. Jumping vertical sheer drop, brain buster, figure four, leg lap. Make her think about it. Drop on the dome and then make her think about it. What's she doing? One, two, three. Double that turn around the apron. She taking a fight to her. Nope, she's right back in the ring. And you can't be toying with the matriarch. Oh, stop it right. Oh, good grief. Then give her a chance to freak it out. DDT. Another figure four leg lap. Give up. Give up. Working that leg. Now she's going to show her how it's done. And she hooks that leg, hooks the head. And she got it. And your winner of this match, Soberana Braga Ness. Hey, you ain't got to be talking shit. All right, just shut up. Just shut up. All right, I'm, you know what? Yeah, we're going to cut here because fuck that. All right, you won. You won. All right, we're going to move on. Let's roll. Shit. Making her way to the ring. Representing the destroyer of anatomy. From China. 75 for 10 and 49 pounds. Quick set in that score. Million Leon. And our opponent, representing Black of Fury, and one half of Black of Fury, 75 for 4 and 134 pounds. This is Flash.
referee for this match, AJ. Fight! And oh, she's starting off drop kicking them legs. Give up. We've seen Mili and Leon, I mean, submit, ground and pound. I mean, we, we, we know she's got multiple games. Oh, she's starting off with the ghetto stretch. Jockey for position. Yeah, Plush is looking out for that drop kick, and it's going to be hard to evade it. Verse half crab. Wearing her down. You know the winner of this will be going against Open on the And you know, every, everybody's rooting on Plush. Everyone's rooting on plus. Yuli Yelio is basically uh, un, un, the unknown here. She's still trying to make her mark. Oh, but she will with those open yeah, show toes. Driving full position for Master Kratom. Kick that knee. Give up. Multiple strikes to the back of the head from those sautés, those open handed strikes. A little love tap right there, I suppose. A little kicks and chops. Chops went out. So, uh, dragging the body from the ropes. Guard position. Heel hook. Give up. She had a good one on too. Arm drag. Nice senton. Oh, senton. Standing moonsault. One. Only a one count. Plus is trying to go. Ooh, drop to Plus is trying to go for stuff. She ain't trying to hold back. She's trying to get it done quick. Dragon screw leg whip. She was avoiding that. Uh oh. Five elevated. Yep, elevated Texas cover hole. Give up. Give up. Irish whip. Leapfrog. Double leapfrog. Triple. Off the rope. Nope. Slamming to each other. Lilian is, is just too fast as well in that running game. She's up top. Spider German suplex. Scorpio splash. Two. Reverse figure four. Man, Mili Enli, she, she, she smells blood in that water. Reverse half crab. Give up. First with this out of it. The left that clutch in the corner, Great. though. Double to the back. Mount. Nope. We'll have a roll up. Two. Taking advantage of the fatigue. These girls know that the other is, is wore out, tired, beaten, battered. And sunset flip. Rolling knee bar. Reverse figure four. Million Leon, they, they basically up. taking out Clutch's power game. Oh, she hurt. She's hurt. Shin breaker. Elevated, elevated Texas cover home. Great. The first got in the ropes. Wait. The nose can't cut in the ropes, bro. Wait, in the ropes. The first on the ropes. Come on. Come on, AJ. Don't start this shit. Drop to home. Up kick, oh, reverse up kick. 
Because she's done her best to stay away from that. Oh, mix it up to driver two. She stole it. Puts in the corner. What's she going to do here? She's got her up. Super dragon screw leg whip. Guard position. Kill hook. Both gonna get to those ropes. Give up. These girls are tired. They've been fighting all day. And she's in the ropes. She's got to work the best time. Got those hooks in. Fight a German to the top. Somersault leg drop. Go to the top again. She's up. What's she waiting on? She got, she's up. Dragon Rana. One, two, three. Wow. The young winner of the match is Lash. What, what the hell? That's new. All right. Roll with it. <laughs> Good grief. On, I wasn't expecting that. Man, she pulled a page out of Canopy's book on that one. We know, we know what our, we know what, uh, our main event is, and so far, hey, she's already on her way to the ring, so, you know, we, we got, we might as well just get on going to the ring, get her on, on her way to the ring, representing the Jesse Best in the Lion's Sisterhood, standing 5 foot 8, weighing 160 pounds, DJ De La Mechiaca, Stobalana Ragones, the referee for this match, AJ, all right, they, they they locking it up. This is your finals. This is your your I guess your B bracket finals. One. And I mean Soberana Dragades had to go through John Lee Wynn, D Block, and her own mom, the matriarch. Clutch had to go through Dimesho Leru, Hondo Obero, and Lilian Leon. They both had to go through some hellacious people to get here. And and this this is this is gonna be a, a competition right here. I think One. we know these girls can go. And Sobrana Dragoness is the one that took the title away from May Lee G Lee. The year of the Beast Women's title and redubbed it the women's title. Plush was dethroned as junior heavyweight champion after holding that title for seven months. So the honor Dragoness, she uh, she says, look, nothing is eternal. That was that was a little verbal shot right there. That was a shot across the bow right there. I thought that was going to be Mr. Driver 2 right there. I was like, oh, she's already doing it. Just stomped through them guts off the ropes. Nope. So Bronner denied him. The going to jump all over her body, it looks like. A bat breaker. So Bronner driving this is, is, is going to be on offense like she is right now. Running off the ropes. Big splash to the back. Plush had to get her legs back on her. You can see her stuttering a little bit. Back and forth, they're going with the punches and the kicks. And the punches went out. Now mounted strikes. This is something Plush don't like. She does not like brawlers, not by any means. Stop to the back. Oh my goodness. Mixed up to driver two. She stole on the with it. Two. Yanked her out of, she's yanked that out of nowhere right there. Another one. one. Jumped right on her Two. head with it. Trying to put her away quick. Clutch's power game is second to none. I'm going to tell you that right now. Oh, good grief. Jumping shit drop brain buster. One. one. Crowd got into it late, but they, were, they, they started counting. A third one in the ropes, though. And like, get over in this corner. Oh, she's tired. Clutch sees that. She sees it. 
Her angle falls for her. She got a distance on that one. Two. No. Just got the shoulder up, referee AJ says. Irish whip. Manhattan drop. Ooh, Uraki. She goes for that pill at the back of her cross up job. And she got it. And we are winning up this match and tournament bracket. Sobalada, Ragon Nicholas. How you talking shit? Man, you can stop all that. Stop all that. It's twice. You need to leave it alone. All right. It, 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 hey, look, it was, it was a good tournament, everybody. I, I enjoyed this. This was good. Um, I'm going to get up out of here soon because uh, it's I, it's 6.04 p.m. I woke up late. <laughs> so let's go ahead and throw this up there because, you know, we already. Well, well up, up first, let, nope, let, me, let, me, let me go through the stuff. Let me go through the stuff. Uh, let's see. So let's do this. Victory Corner. And you can see the tournament right here, how everything panned out. As I run through everything, uh, that match right there, they kept it short. They kept that short because they, they both took such a beating. I thought Plush was going to win that one again. Everybody was hoping on Plush. Um, but you know what? You know, I mean, you know, Plush ain't out the woodwork yet. That's no, there's always a chance next month, you know, because this is this is locked up and sealed right here. It's going to be Soberana Dragoness versus Beijing Chingren. That, that's going to be a match right there next week. So you get to see everything right here. You can see how it all unfolded. Did this in one day. Whew. That, 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 that's how we get down sometimes now. So, let me throw this on up there for y'all. Boop. All right. All righty, all righty, all right. You know, to go ahead and... All right. So, we got next week going down. We're going to have some other matches. Since next week will be the eve of the big event, what that, what that does is... Traditional as the way we work here with CR Fire Pro is that's when other rank one contenders can, you know, they have to defend their shit. You know, well, rank one or, you know, rank two, depending on who's closest to the, the champion. You know, this tournament here for the juniors, that's going to headline the big event. That's what we do with our tournaments. We headline our big events with whatever the tournament is. They, they get top billing, always. And. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I don't know how this is going to turn out. You know, Eternal might have met her match. I don't know. So, Verona ain't slowing down for nobody. And it seems like a lot of people don't like Eternal being champion as it is. I got the word on that. But I can't do nothing about it. It is what it is. Oh, damn it. I dropped the pistachio. Anyway. um, I knew that was going to be good, too. Uh, so... Yeah, the ones that you drop is always the good ones. You know it's gonna be the good one. So look, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep y'all here for long. You know, look, thank you for coming out, thank you for listening, watching and, and all that stuff. You know, depending on what you had to do around the house or whatnot, you know, watch it with your friends, you know, critique it, you know, leave your comments down there below, you know. And if you got a podcast you wanna I guess you wanna talk shit on this, go ahead and talk shit on it. It's all good. You know, you're gonna talk you're gonna talk trash about it. At least send them to it so they can make their own judgment though. I, I at least you know, be fair. Be fair. Um you know, and if you don't like something, let me know. Let me know how you feel about these these wrestlers. Let let me know. You know, train these people hard. You know, dude, we got pro wrestlers here. So that's just that's all I'm out to say about it. You know, I ain't got nothing else to say. You know, so all I can do is just sit down there and wait for it. That's right. Plus shoes, official shoes. You wait for it. Seriously, you have to wait for it. You have to wait for it. Yeah, wait for it. You got to wait for it. Wait for it on zero. All up on some zero zero. All right, you got to wait for it. He's got more stuff coming out. 
I don't know how he's going to keep up with everything that he's doing. I don't even know how. I mean, he's got about six or seven. He got he got 17, 11 projects he's doing, you know. So we're going to just see what he can do because he get bored and all of a sudden it's like doing something new. Somebody's like, hey, you want to do this? He's like, all right, doing something new. Everybody's got a breaking point. <laughs> Everybody's got a breaking point. You know, and me, I got something new I'm doing. This ain't the one that's coming down the pipe. Oh, no, no. That's, a, that's something different. That's, that's something I'm working on. And NWA Power jacked me up on it. So keep waiting for that. All right. I do have my apologies because I've been wanting to put this out quicker. But every week, NWA Power does something that pissed me off because it's what I plan to do. And I'm like, damn it, what am I going to do now? Anyway, PAW, we got some Paul coming. You know, that's, that's going to be a hardcore federation. Got 10 fighters, you know, 10 fighting wrestlers. It's hard for me to do this without doing it pro wrestling style. But they fighters for show. You keep that up. You, you don't know that. I just got to work. I just got to. All I got to do now is just work on the end credits, and then I'll start throwing the shows up there, you know, and there's room to grow and, and whatnot. But, um, yeah, so, you know, as you wait for it, and as I tell you that stuff, all I can say now to everyone listening is thank you for your time, your energy, your views. Please give me an upvote. You like, if you like this content, give it an upvote for those that stuck around this long. Give it an upvote. And I am sure that right now anyone listening, those who have no patience, they've already clicked away. So for those that have patience I'm going to let you know something I'm actually making some shoes I'm actually doing that so there you go I'm, I'm going to see how we get this up and going I'm trying to make them cheap but I don't think I can do that but I'm trying you know it's just supposed to be something fun something cute but I don't know how to, I don't know, this, this might be something, you, you know, you put on the shelf and just put a, a dome around it so nobody, so no lint can get to it. But all in all, with that said, good night, everybody. <laughs>